good result then for um, for Jacques Audiel, <laughs> therefore a profit for best um, film not in the English language. But okay, what would you like to see? You'd like to see the right room. I would. I, th I think a profit is a, is a fantastic film with with some caveats, though. I think I think there are some elements of it which are just completely unbelievable. I think this, the set, the sequences outside of the jail, especially. I've, I've yet to meet anyone who's been able to explain to me what the sequence with the deer actually means. Actually, most people just shrug their shoulders and go. Mm, but not it sure. does have magical realism yeah. in the middle of it, so could you not accept? Bits you mean, you mean with the with the the, the, the mm. former prisoner coming back? Mm. Yeah, but that, that seems that seems to have make, make real psychological sense to me. In that the sense that it, it sort of suggests you know, how he's being driven and what's what's going on in that prisoner's mind. The fact that he's seeing these things at night, and, but the the deer just doesn't at all to me. I, I still think it's a fantastic film. I think it's a fantastic film, but for me, it's not in the same league as the White Ribbon. I mean, it kind of it skirts round its issues for me. It doesn't really. Uh, it, it sort of tees up a kind of um, uh, question about uh, being Islamic within a non-Islamic society that it doesn't really address. For me, The White Ribbon is just the most powerful film about the rise of Nazism I've ever seen. I just think it's incredible. Uh, it's just an incredible piece of work. The ideas in it are so huge, and it's such an incredibly minimal, beautifully paced piece of filmmaking, yeah. Still not an English language was the most difficult one of all, I think, because mm. I, I think mm. Broken Braces, if, it, if, if you'd taken Pedro Maravar's name off that and put somebody else's name on, um, I think we would have all been talking about what a, what a masterpiece it was. It's a great film, and um, Pedro is in this trap now of, being, of all of his films being compared to the last one. So people who saw Broken Braces said, oh, it wasn't as good as Volva, rather than, wow, what a great film it, it is. And I, and I think Let the Right One In also was a great film, so it was very difficult yeah. in that category.